Okay. I passed a mirror in the hall And saw the strangest thing of all I saw a man I thought I knew A man I'd seen my lifetime through How could we ever drift apart We'd been together from the start we both were good, we both were bad We took for granted all we had Like brothers once blood bonded true Our love so strong would see us through When did I lose my closest friend? How could I miss our friendship then? How could we ever drift apart? We've been together from the start. We both were good, we both were bad. We took for granted all we had. I loved him once as he loved me. But that was when our life was free. We'd lost respect and gave no care Back to the life we used to share How could we ever drift apart? We'd been together from the start We both were good, we both were bad We took for granted all we had through tear-filled eyes I looked again He looked straight back, no more my friend A stranger now is all I see I broke my heart, that stranger's me How could we ever drift apart? We'd been together from the start we both were good, we both were bad We took for granted all we had I passed a mirror in the hall There's nothing there of him at all From the stranger that I used to be The Lord has saved and set me free from the stranger that I used to be The Lord has saved and set me free Well, the poetry came first. Yeah, the poetry. Um, when I was in prison. That just started. I don't know how it started, but it started. And um, one of the one of the miracles that came out of prison was that the the guys that I was in with in uh, in, in Swansea prison they bought me a, a guitar oh, right. as a leaving gift. Nice. And um, like I've, I told you the story about you know I I wanted to learn the guitar before I could get up to sing, but never learned the guitar. Yeah, yeah. So I was telling him this story one one day and. Um, what had happened was a guy from another another prison had come in with a guitar. Right, okay. So unknown to me, they'd all chipped in tobacco. Oh, right. To buy me this guitar as a leaving gift. Wow, that's really nice of them. It was, well, yeah. And um, one of the boys said to me, one of, the, one of the guards wants to see you down on the floor. And so I went down, there's nobody there. I went back to my cell and on this bed, on my bed was this guitar wrapped up in newspaper. Oh, nice. It was obviously a guitar. Yeah. <laughs> but they'd signed a letter as well. Oh wishing me good luck yeah. you know Brilliant. and all signed it and you know make sure you learn the guitar now and you know yeah. and um when i went to get moved out then uh to the, the the other the next prison um they they check your property before you go so i've got this guitar right. 
So the card is like, well, you know, where do you get this guitar from? Because he didn't come in with it. No, that's right. I know, I know. So I said, well, the boys have bought it for me as a leaving gift. Right. So he's like, you know, a bit sarcastic and sort of, uh, you know what you are, do I said, well, yeah, I'm in prison. He said, well, the boys don't buy the boys leaving gifts in prison, like. I said, well, that's what's happened. That's what happened, yeah. And it was like, I've been in the prison service 25 years. I've never heard this speech. It's never, I've never seen it happen before. Da, 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 da. Okay, okay, okay. And so we were on a bit of a Mexican standoff then. You know, he's like, well, well, it is my guitar. It was a gift. Oh, well, you know, well, I can't let you take it because you didn't come in with it. Yeah. And then one of the guys who had actually chipped in to buy me this guitar was his job while he was in prison was working in the reception area. Oh, right, okay. So he's come to start his shift. And um, he's backed my story up. Right, good. And he obviously had a, he had a bit of rapport with uh, with this guard, so the you know the guard took his word, and the it was it was crazy how with this his attitude changed. It was he was like amazed now because he'd gone from being sort of quite sarcastic in that, you know, he'd never seen this happen before. Yeah, to yeah, well, yeah. I've never seen that happen before, like. And I yeah. said, well, this happened now, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. By God's grace, and um, it was by God's God's grace I was there anyway. So everything that happened after that was a miracle. Wow. And. Um, so yeah, so they, he let me take the guitar, mm -hmm. and um, as my poetry sort of, I think as as my faith in God, you know, um, increased, um, and my understanding of it, then yeah, um, the poetry started to become more spiritual as well. Right. And um, there was the only the only poem that I'd actually tried to consciously write was about my first night I'm in prison and God speaking to me. And I couldn't do it. When I, I could tell people what happened, but to actually write it down, it just wouldn't happen because all, all the poems just seemed to come out to me naturally. They just nice. flowed out to me. And uh, yeah. Poetry, yeah. It? And when I, you know, this, this one that I was trying to consciously write, I couldn't do it yeah. um, until about 17 months later. And um, not only did I write the poem, but I wrote the first, my first song. Now, up until that point, I, I'd sort of rewritten a few Elvis songs. Mm -hmm. And change the change the words in them, and put a more spiritual spin on them, and that's right. so that's how the uh, that's how the songwriting started. Wow. Will I ever be your hero? That's all I ever wish to be. If you forgive the hurt gone by Then maybe you'll be proud of me You can come to me when life is tough And your romance hugs are all you need Will you help me mend my broken heart So from this pain I will be Take away my cloudy skies And bring your sunshine back to me Do you ever wonder how I am? Or don't you even care? Do you think I'm missing you right now? Perhaps you're glad I'm just not there No, it may not seem that way But I tried hard to make things right Now all I hope from day to day Is I'm in your heart though out of sight And before I sleep I always pray My God is with you day and night Tell me Will I have the chance one day To tell you All the things I didn't get to say The day I went away Will I ever be 
Like all the perfect dads I've not seen Will I be the dad that you deserve? Or is that a long lost broken dream? Are the memories of our smiles gone by? Strong enough to get us through? Should I give your number one more try? Or should I leave it up to you? Cause if I give your number one more try What's the odds I won't get through? Tell me Will I have the chance one day To tell you All the things I didn't get to say Went away. No, I'll never be a perfect dad. Who knows what does perfect mean? But I may be the dad that you deserve. Well, that's still yet to be seen. All my memories and my photographs. They only sometimes get me through So I'll give you number one more try Cause I ain't giving up on you Yes, I'll give you number one more try Cause that's just what I always do I'll give you number one more try that's what perfect fathers do. Well, still, um, I'm still amazed by everything that's happened. Um, <laughs> even though I was there, it's still sort of like, you know, did that really happen? Um, my first night was very peaceful, very calm restful which was something i'd never felt peace i'd never felt peace in my life and I, I was lying there you know aware of this peacefulness as well and this this calm and sort of thinking to myself well I, I shouldn't be feeling like this but i am you know mm -hmm. um i'd already sort of um given it all up to god the, the the night before while i was still in the police cells i just it just sort of literally a light went on and I sort of realized that you know God was there and he was giving me a chance to put things right and to change it to get my life back back in order um so I'm lying there on my bunk totally at peace which was something I'd never felt and you know it was like I was watching a film I was I was like I was standing back watching all this happen and uh all of a sudden I heard this voice don't worry you're safe where you are it's all part of the plan now my heart knew it was God talking to me, but my head was like 10 steps in the shed backwards like, and uh, yeah. I was, I looked around and I said, don't worry, you're safe where you are, it's all part of the plan. Yeah. Very matter of fact, very sort of, you know, no, no rush sort of. And there was no one else Yeah, you. well, no, there, there was, there was a, there was a guy sharing the cell with me, it was a guy that I knew as well, because there, there were so many crazy things that happened in prison that like, that weren't happening to other people, mm -hmm. you know. It, it, it was, you know, everybody was toozed up with someone they didn't know, so there, there was obviously animosity there, and you know, and, and awkwardness or whatever. And I, I had all my cellmates were people that I knew, you know, okay. and um, I, I didn't have any problems at all. So you know, the the human the human part of me, my head sort of was still trying to work it out. Well, who's this? You know, who's this voice? My heart was telling me it's God. But yeah. well, my head was like, well, and I had to look down at the, my cellmate who was fast asleep. Mm. And it was like, still, you know, don't worry, you're safe where you are, it's all part of the plan. And um, again, I, I looked at the door then to see if it was one of the guards I knew, because I knew, I knew quite a few of the guards working there. Right, sure. And I, I, was, I was getting this you sort of... security, so yeah, you would know. Yeah, from working on the door and things and, you know. 
and I was getting a second take off people all the time. I knew I knew most of the boys in there, right. you know, yeah. quite a lot. Them I caught them shoplifting or, <laughs> or whatever, like yeah, you know. Yeah. One guy actually thought I was working there. Oh right. And he come on to me. He said, "All right, how long have you been working down here then?" <laughs> I said, "I'm not. I'm living here for the time being." Like. Oh gosh. And he was like, "He couldn't get it, you know." What do you mean, you know? I said, "Well, I'm here, like, you know." So I was getting a lot of that, and um, it was. Uh, yeah, so that was the first night, and that was uh, that that poem that I was trying to write about my first night. Um, it it finally sort of just came out to me about seventeen months later. Um, the, the only thing that I that I was questioning was why was it my voice that I could hear? I I knew it was God, but why was it my voice? And seventeen months later, I went to church up in Park Prison, Bridge End, and a guy had come in from the out to talk to us. And literally everything that he'd done in his life was the same as my life. Mm. He'd worked on the doors for 25 years. He had failed marriages. He had a daughter they didn't see. And everything that he said was what had happened in my life. Mm. And even my, my mates that I got to know, because they, they, you, know, you share your story with, with the other boys there, and they were all sort of, you know, that's happened to you, that's you, that's you. Yeah. Everything, everything this guy was saying. Well, then the chaplain then went on to speak about a bit of, a bit of scripture. Jeremiah 29, verse 11 to 14. But it says about God having a plan for you, a yeah. plan for you to prosper yes. and not to harm you. And um, <laughs> he then went on to open it up a bit and try to explain it. You know, and he said, you know, when God comes to talk to you, he'll do it in a voice you know. Yeah. And a voice you can trust and in a way you understand. Yeah. And he's like, man, I've had this question in my head for the last 17 months and now, now God is answering me. You know, it was my voice. It had to be my voice because it was only my my voice I could trust. Exactly. It was only my voice I knew. Yeah. You know, it was only my voice I could understand. And then I went back to my cell and I wrote the poem. Then um, he doesn't sound like Morgan Freeman or any actor on TV. And the night God came to save my life, he sounded just like me. And then off the back of that, the the first full song that I wrote about falling in love with God. Yeah. yeah. And um, that that came out of it as well. That's good. Yeah. So that was, yeah. And that that was just those were just you know a few of many miracles that happened, mm -hmm. literally on a daily basis. Something was happening, or somebody'd mm -hmm. say something, and it's like, all oh, right, yeah, that's what that's about. I'd write a poem, mm -hmm. and then I'd look back at it, you know, a couple of weeks later, and all oh, right, that's what that that's why that happened, you know, and that's 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 what it was all about. Yeah. So when was the last time we got to see your daughter? Oh. Um, I saw her when I first came home. Um, I'd been home a couple of weeks and um, my ex-wife uh, brought her up to see me. So that was like three and a half years ago. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that's why that song is still, yeah, yeah. still raw. Yeah, know? it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you haven't seen her since? No. No. Um, we, do, we, we do message on WhatsApp okay. and the messaging has got a bit more sort of conversational over the last couple of months so that's you know good, be thankful for small mercies and uh, yeah. you know you start to understand when people say these things you know be grateful for small mercies or I'll be thankful it sort of it doesn't make any sense when people say them to you you know um, to you. yeah until until those small more you have those small mercies and you realize just how big a small mercy is like you yeah. know yeah I would drink to forget, but just remember the past. Where did my life go? How did time move so fast? Once a child holding hands with a mother I still miss. And then a teen full of dreams, often strayed by a kiss. Shown what to do. Marry twice, not for love, but for reasons not good. I let them down, broke the hearts, just like I always would. Amen.